Oriental Hornbeam. That's the one that was meant for me, but for some reason, Sebastian was faster, or maybe he had more money. Anyway. Uh, no, I collected it myself. You it collected my it yourself. I'm mistaking this I'm with another tree. So you, we, you have proof, you have photographs, how you dig this out, and everybody says, now that's about as big as you ever wanted. Yeah, but Interesting. I mean, it's a very big tree, but I tell you, people, there is fatter ones than this. But there's an end to it. For me, even even if I say it was meant for me, I wouldn't want it. It's just too big a tree for me. But that has to do with my age, etc. But it's a very, very good bonsai, as you can see already. This was only styled once. Now we style these trees about every year, every two years, and after five, six, seven years, then they're finished. I mean, in that short period of time, they are finished and they're show ready. And this already, for most people, if that were tidied up, would be show ready. Now this tree looks a ton tidy because Sebastian did nothing to it other than taking off the wire. But if you cut back these things and clean it, it will already look very, very powerful. Now what you see is, a, is the front. Is a very good front. If you turn the tree around, you will see that we have this nose here, which from this side obviously is too big. And I still wonder, I think we spoke about this last time, whether you should not carve this here, uh, where I put my fingers around, you put a hole in that, meaning the whole thing goes away. If that happens, then this could also be a front. Some people would take offense to that, to these stones. Well, first of all, it is not normal in bonsai that there are stones in the roots of, a broad, of any tree, of certainly of a broadleaf tree. And then we know that if there is a stone, it must be dark and blackish. I'm sorry, but this is a tree from Croatia. It comes from the karst, which is all calcium, all limestone, and limestone is white, and that is what the stone of that region. So why should we have dark women? We could actually paint these rocks. We have spoken about that. A possibility is just paint it with acrylic paint. It will be black and it will look more bonsai-like. But I would say, no, it's a feature of these trees that they have these stones. They're, they're in, packed in stones. So you spend all, all day for this kind of tree just removing the stones. And then your back hurts, you cannot walk for two weeks. Especially when you carry it home. You must have a lot of friends. <laughs> okay. Only Chaiko. <laughs> okay. Chico. Anyway, this is an enormous base. This is, this is one this is one and a half feet, 45 centimeters or 50. Yes. This is incredible. Wow. Uh, but you see, this I would still drill. And I, I would, I'm sure I would do that. The, the stones I would leave, you could then also use this as a front. But this is, is a better one. And also that's how it's made, especially if you look at it from the side, the tree is moving like that. The moving, the tree is coming at you. And that, that gives you the strong feeling that three-dimensionality and the tree likes you. Ah, you can't, ah, like that. If it goes back, then it's a bit defensive and it does not look so positive. Again, here from that front, we have uh, stones here. We have another bulge here, 
which, sub, which comes from another stone wars here, which was removed. Over a long run, this will somehow correct itself. The tree will correct itself here. I think that's part of the game of these trees. This builds a lot of character. We will, we will see a strange sort of bark here. We know that it comes from a rock which used to be here, uh, or, we, or not, it doesn't really matter. Another thing that I want to point out, that this looks pretty mature and uh, has a lot of foliage and only needs some more refinement. You should see the pictures of only one or two years ago when we cut these thick branches here, uh, they were all stumps and they were ugly, and then they were carved. And all this is not supposed to happen. You're not supposed to have holes which will never close on a broadleaf tree. Well, I'm sorry, if you have such a tree, that's what you have. Take it or leave it. And I think this is a good example of what happens only within one single year that you don't really see. I don't see these an anymore. I mean, if I want to see them, they are there. They are right there. But then they changed color. They have patina. They're starting to callus over. And even if they get hollow eventually, uh, that's, that's fine with me. Okay, uh, this is a, a bit big, so the problem will be uh, to find the right pot. I think I have one that I can offer, but you then have a choice between this or your big fagus. Probably not both. Or, or we'll say anyway, I'll offer, I have two, two pots to offer, uh, but a, a pot for that size, a quality pot, is unaffordable. It costs much more than most people ever make in, the, in a month. Much more. More than the tree costs, maybe. No, this tree costs a lot of money. No, it costs nothing. Well, basically it costs nothing in money because you collect it yourself. If you ever count the hours that you use for searching trees or for learning, in the beginning doing collecting the wrong trees, killing trees, and, and all that experience and, and it turn that into money, it's just a very, very expensive tree. There's a reason for these collected trees being very expensive. Uh, you, and even if you think you're paying a lot, you're probably not paying enough to cover the cost. Okay, so far to money. But this is not a money game. Uh, this is a, a, a wonderful exhibit piece, uh, eventually, if you ever get it into the right pot. Problem with exhibit, this tree, uh, which has a pot, uh, which only is, is deep like that. But that's, a, that's the maximum length of most pot, and that's the depth of that pot. Maybe it goes even in the very, very large round pots. There are pots like that. Uh, it will be, uh, yeah, I have, I, I, I may know a source for a huge round pot with 80 centimeters diameter. So, but you know, <coughs> this is still not really the problem. It's now time to search for that pot. But the, the problem is that this is still not refined enough. So you do the same thing that you did uh, this spring. You do it again. You wait for the foliage to drop. And then you wait until March. And in March, uh, end of March, you, you sit down and wire everything. Because uh, in the old days, you, you used not to wire so much. And now I tell you, yes, you do. But then I tell you, you don't always wire and always pinch. Because in the end, uh, the crown will look fabricated, will look art artificial because it is artificial. It's obvious that somebody bent this. It's better to at one point then let grow freely and cut back and just wait for new buds coming all over the place. This will have hundreds and hundreds of new shoots and you have a luxury problem. You don't use all these and you can remove more than 50%. Leave the ones that you like, take off the ones that you don't like. And in the end, you will have a naturally growing ramification uh, which looks natural because it is natural. And it also saves you time. To just pinch this whole tree will take you at least a day. With my hedge method, I do that in 10 minutes. With, just with the shear, that's it. Okay, and, and uh, in the long run, uh, it can be a very, very refined tree. Well, at one point, you, have, you will have to wire. Let, let's uh, say in, in refinement, I would say the optimum is to, to wire it three times and th that's it then. And, then. and then you can only work with a little hedge method or you can cut earlier. You don't have to have the long shoots anymore. It's okay if you then cut it earlier. And that's sort of the, the quiet life then, the quality life. But the point will come when that is outgrowing. 
when that is something is wrong well then you redo the whole tree again yeah. and this is then after that which is 10 years from now this tree will be a masterpiece world-class masterpiece that's that's what happened so if you think this is already world-class no it is not it's world-class material if you want to use that word world-class it means top it's absolutely top in the world uh, I mean the, I have not seen anywhere anything close to this quality uh, in uh, as, as I see here with these trees uh, Jim Doyle was here and he said the same thing Jim Doyle has seen everything in America everything he said he never ever even saw, saw something even close to that okay uh, concerning the citrus but they have good evergreens oh, oh that's I, I, I only I, I only speak about broadleaf yeah. trees junipers that's a radically different story the very very best uh, conifers are in America absolutely they always were there and now they are learning how to how to refine them and how to make good bonsai of them and I, I really lo love the development there but uh, I, I, not to my knowledge that somebody would really have this anything close to that or even trying so if you if you go for size but you know that size doesn't matter do that right you see <laughs> so so if you go for size I, I don't know but it, it but it's a radically different tree it's two it's two very different trees <laughs> see what it says on the t-shirt size matters okay well anyway I don't think really size matters uh, so for me so what I mean if it's bigger or not it's a very different tree and both are very big trees for for me that's about the maximum please don't go further than that there's absolutely no need if, if you if you need three people to carry the tree then I for example I think if I cannot make photographs of a tree because it's just too heavy for two people uh, and my wife would not help me she would just refuse she said if you cannot carry it it's too big I have a wise wife <laughs> okay and this uh, even two people cannot carry can hardly carry no, they can't because of the stone yeah yeah it's a stone and also this this uh, wood of these broadleafed old trees is very very uh, heavy much heavier than conifers conifers of that size are, are not don't have that weight well anyway that's about as big as you want to get it, it's it's still about 18 5 90 centimeters high I so, think close to 90 oh my, oh, cl well it's less than one meter which I think is a and good final idea crown final crown oh, well the final no, crown not much bigger no 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 the like the, I think if you ask me the final crown is already there okay. you can make it a bit wider so that the tree is wider than its high uh, that's a, that's fine for a broadleaf tree that happens in nature this is not a bonsai this is a tree okay so we don't we we know the bonsai rules and we we we, we respectfully listen to them but we don't do it often because they are just su suggestions but they are suggestions to make a bonsai now if we insist that this is not a bonsai but a tree then we have to find the rules for a tree now they are not in the bonsai books you have to go to the forest you have to study trees to understand them and then you will understand uh, what I'm saying here about dimensions about the tree being wider than high you see in, in if I for, totally forget what I know about bonsai there's nothing wrong with that I mean everybody would understand that if I speak about a tree but people take offense if this is a bonsai well that's their problem basically okay I really love this tree I really love the character now and the how you did the carving and we don't see that anymore here you may fancy this and you may love it I would still insist that you take off the whole bloody thing I will. just yeah. take it away make sure maybe that the lower part lives so that you have a root that clings over these rocks because if you kill this here this may die the root and then the rots the, the rocks will fall out and then you will have a big silly looking hole or maybe it's interesting we never know but this is the back anyway okay congratulations to this fabulous piece wow you did collect it yourself hey you were well, yes I have when you were young but you but you were young and, and handsome at that time okay three years ago three only three years ago okay this this is a powerful masterpiece but the the pot situation as I see it 
if you find a, a rectangular or oval pot, it will be like that and like, like 80 centimeters in depth. No, you must have a round pot with at least 80 centimeters. Glazed. Well, be glazed. No, first, you, I mean, you, you can find Chinese pots uh, in that diameter, but they're not glazed. I'm sure they're also glazed ones, but they're still in China. You will have to, okay. I can do that, to try to, to scout for you. Right. And it's not so expensive. I mean, a big, big pot, uh, if you make, have ever find a potter to make this, costs several thousand euro, several thousand dollars. Uh, but uh, we are not speaking about uh, several thousand, we speak about several hundred, hundred only at the moment. And it must go into, now into a reasonable pot because it has deserved it. Uh, it's, uh, how, how long ago did you collect this? Four years. Four years. It's yeah. incredible. After four years, uh, he has this thing that most people will, would, would be crazy about having. Uh, and that could, you can show on any show in the world eventually. If they have a room to put If they have room. Yeah. By the way, that's a problem, you know. If you have a tree which is just too big for normal exhibit, then you have a problem. How in the world are you going to transport this? You're going to fly this? <laughs> yes, okay. <laughs> in a wow. luggage compartment. <laughs> okay. Or uh, then you have to speak to these people to have a, sp a special table. I mean, how special are you yeah. to demand a special table and all that stuff? So this is the tree for you. I don't want this. Okay. Even as a present? No, thank you. Come on. No. <laughs> okay. You know, uh, I really, I really uh, shortened the, the roots as much as I could because if I go much more into the, then I'm going into the Nevari and that's, uh, that, that's not really good. I would have to cut it here to put it in an even smaller pot. So I really need a pot that big. I, I, I'm not sure that I, that I want to go further. Well, I, to well as I said, this is the diameter of the pot you need, and that's about 80 centimeters yeah. to me. Yeah. Well, I, I, yes, I look for that. This is 80 by 80. Yeah, yeah so, so I have a pot for this, but not for this. Okay. I have another big pot, which you may want for eventually, maybe the other one, or some tree that you will get in the future. Oh, and also green blades, I'll show you. Over. Wait, God. Storms over. Storms over.